Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my video. So, man, I am stuck here right now in my car. I'm at this little shopping center. Went to get something at the supermarket. Came back to my car, tried to start it, and my car is... It's not completely dead, but it's not... It's not. I don't hear anything. It's not cranking over. It's not cranking at all. So I'm actually, uh, I've spent like the last 45 minutes trying to figure it out. <clears throat> and uh, man, this is a situation I've, I've got right now. <clears throat> so basically, um, a couple weeks ago, I had the same issue, but I was able to start up after about, I'd say like eight tries or whatever. And... You know, there there were a couple of times, I, I guess, within the last couple of months, where you know I, tr you know, the same situation happened, but I was always able to start up. Today, I've tried it, I've tried it like so many times. I must I must have tried it twenty times just to get this car started. You know, just to hear something and nothing happens. But um. There is uh, there is nothing else that seems to be wrong with the car except for the fact that the car won't turn over. You know, it just it won't crank at all. Not that it won't turn over. Just I don't hear anything. But everything else, you know, has no issues. Uh, the lights on the dash is on like like it normally is. All the lights are on like it, like it normally is. Um, the radio works. I mean, I'm, I'm getting. The blow motor works, although I'm not getting any kind of heat coming out because the car is not on. But you know, everything works. <clears throat> everything works, except the car is not cranking. And but here's what I've done so far. So basically, originally I thought I might have had a weak battery, like a really weak battery. So I actually um, went out. And I, w I was in the supermarket for maybe 30 minutes at most. And I don't think it's the week. I don't think that my battery died out. I don't think I left anything on. Even if I did, 30 minutes not going to kill my car. So anyway, I went out, turned the lights on just to make sure that the, you know, that, that, you know, the, the lights, the headlights were shining bright. And they were shining bright. I mean, I can't count that out 100%. I couldn't count that out 100% of it, uh, uh, you know, of it not being the battery. So I actually used my my, my jumper, my Harbor Freight um, battery pack, and uh, tried it a couple of times. And I, you know, nothing, no, nothing, the same issue uh, as before. So I'm like pretty definitely sure it's not the battery because, um, I, you know, my battery pack, my jumper pack is like 100% charged up. So it should start the car up. So I'm pretty much going to say that it's not the battery that's the issue. I'm pretty sure, I'm pre I'm just going to say it's the battery. I'm pretty sure it's not, it's not the battery that's the issue. <clears throat> it's what I'm saying. So, so, so the other thing I'm thinking about, maybe it's the alternator, but here's the thing about it. My car didn't die out with the alternator, um, with the, with the engine on. Okay, if the engine was on and the alternator, um, the car died out, like, I would think that it, it would be the alternator that's the issue, but that's not the case here. And if it was the case of the alternator being the issue, me jumping the car would have gotten the car started. But once I took off the, the, the uh, but it would have died out immediately <clears throat> once I took the battery pack off. So that's not the case. That's not the case here. So it's not the battery. It's not the alternator. I can pretty much rule those out. So I'm like thinking, what else could it be at this point? Um, I guess it could be a relay or a fuse. A relay or a fuse. I know it's not the fuel pump relay because, I mean, I would still hear a crank if it was the fuel pump relay. All right. I'm thinking at this point. No, not at this point, but I actually did the test before. Um, it could be the relay to the starter. But here's the thing about it. I do hear a click when I when I um try to start the car do hear a click so me hearing the click 
pretty much means that the that the car you know me hearing the click actually means that you know that the solenoid on the starter is going off and it's not the relay because the relay relays the electricity to the the starter you know it's just that the starter is not cranking on so i don't think it's the relay that's the that's the cause of it <clears throat> so i don't think it's the relay so going through some troubleshooting um if it's not the relay, I'm thinking it could be the fuse that's causing this issue. It may be the fuse that's causing it, one of the fuses that's causing this, it's causing this issue. But if I think about it, um, there's only been a couple of times where I've been in this, these situations where a fuse caused an issue. And, and those situations are like this. And this is not one of these situations. So the situation is like this. Um, the car is like completely dead. All right. Last time I had a fuse issue, the car was completely dead. Like no, no power to the car, as if there's no battery connected, hooked up to the car. All right. And it turned out that it was the main fuse that was killing all the electricity to the car. Swapped out that fuse, the car, you know, everything worked right. The car started up, you know. So that's not the situation because I'm actually getting power to everything else except my car won't turn on. It won't it won't crank so the other situation with fuse I had was the car would crank the car would crank it just won't turn over and I think it might have been the fuel pump fuse or, or the uh, fuse to the car's computer that was causing that and replacing that cause got the car to, <clears throat> to uh, crank over unfortunately this situation is different because well, it's different from the obvious because I, I don't hear crank. It's not cranking. Nothing nothing cranks. It's not cranking at all. <clears throat> okay, it's not cranking. I'm getting power. It's not cranking. So I've ruled those things out. All those things out. And I'm actually waiting for AAA to, to, to tow my car because there's nothing I could do at this point. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to have to wait an hour for them to, to come to tow my car. So here's the thing about it. Okay, it's it's gotta be the starter, right? Because that's the only thing that I could think of right now. It's clicking. It, it doesn't want like, to these one clicks every time I try to turn it on. It's gotta be the starter. That's that's the problem. But um, I I got the starter changed up like <clears throat> about a year ago, and this and I've only put in maybe like ten thousand miles for the last year on this on this car, and I'm thinking to myself. Why would a starter go out so soon? Why would a starter go out so soon? It shouldn't be going out this soon. All right. It should last me over well over 100,000 miles, you know. So I did buy a rebuilt starter, remanufactured, rebuilt from AutoZone. And um, I mean, I could do a couple of tests on the start to see whether it is 100% the start because I don't know right now whether it's 100% the, that is the start that's not causing it to start. I mean, I could, you know, put like a couple of cables to the starter or I could, if I think about it, I mean, I could use like um, something to bump the starter, see if it starts up, but I don't, I'm not going to do that because I don't actually have a long enough anything that's probe or anything to, and I'm not going to do that right now. <clears throat> so, I mean, but I think it's a starter and uh, here's the thing about remanufactured starter. It's like it's a really it's like a really pain in the butt as far as remanufactured starters because I was gonna buy a brand new starter and a brand new starter costs about three hundred bucks. Well, that's how much it cost a year ago. I bought this for like one fifty. <clears throat> car charge, core charge for like one forty. Well, it's like forty bucks or something like that. But it's warranted. I don't know if it's warranted for a year. If it's warranted for a lifetime, I'm not quite sure. <clears throat> Probably like a year or two. But um. Now, here's the situation. I'm going to have to go out and either do the job myself, changing up the starter, if it is the starter, or or um, I'm going to have to have somebody do it for me. And even though I'm getting the starter for free because of the warranty, another starter, I'm going to have to get the same rebuilt, another rebuilt starter, not a brand new one. And... And that's gonna suck because now I'm gonna have to either spend some time, a couple hours, do to, to to replace the starter, or pay somebody <clears throat> probably like close to over a hundred dollars to to replace it. And it's this this situation right now is actually just killing my time. I really would rather not have this situation come up. 
considering I paid. I mean, I did the starter myself, and that last time, and it took me like maybe like two two hours to do it. Kind of sucks, but I really don't have the time for for something like this. Um, here's the thing about rebuild starters. You guys know anything about rebuild starters? They only change up the part that's broken when you get back the core and they 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 do that whole rebuild thing they only rebuild that one part that's broken the rest of the rest of the the starter is just cleaned up and uh every single other components got like whatever mileage that you bought the car the starter in um you know that it didn't replace all the parts on there so that's that really sucks but um it's gonna it's gonna be an hour before triple a stops by to uh pick up my car and uh just thought i'd do this video um i'm gonna i'm gonna give you guys an update on it so just uh stay tuned all right guys all right guys so here's the thing i did get my car towed they took them about two hours for them to show up uh, yesterday got my car towed um ran a couple of tests on the starter um i did bump it and uh i did actually hook up a couple of lines to the solenoid positive line to the solenoid and to the positive of the starter to see if it worked and it didn't work so it was a starter that was that was um, messed up um, I did go to AutoZone complain to them that that you know that <coughs> man I that complained about the starter I got like a, about I don't know like a year ago it should last me a lot a lot, a lot longer but I mean that's telling me that you know they're giving me a free starter a free rebuild starter. I was asking them whether I could pay the difference with a new one, but they they wouldn't let me do it. So that kind of sucks. But um, <clears throat> it's been I spent a couple hours putting it in. Um, the car cranks up pretty good without a problem. Um, it kind of sucks because at this point I bought I got another used starter and now I'm crossing my fingers, hoping that you know the starter, you know that I got it's gonna it's gonna last me a lot longer than than what I got. <clears throat> out of that old starter but hey i i don't know but um if i had my choice i probably would have gone on ebay and got a used oem original part uh, from the manufacturer but um don't have enough time for that so but everything's everything's um working the way it should um and uh you know if you guys are having the same issue just go through the same steps that i did as far as you know, trying to figure out what the what the issue is with that. Um, but if you guys have any comments, leave your comments. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, guys. All right.